I'm Billy Harris. You're hanging with Harris. You're already laughing. I'm with my two very good friends, Lindy and Grundy, and of course, Rhett, Lindy Grundy on Fairfax here in Los Angeles. This is the first interview we've done with saws and a, a half a pig, a quarter of a pig. It's a half a pig. It is a half yes, a pig. Yes, indeed. First of all, are there that many women butchers around? I mean, you kind of think of it as an old school guy thing, sharpening their knives, and, and here we are. There's a handful of us throughout the country, and we're, sure. we're all friends, and we actually just hired a, another female butcher here at the shop, Melissa, so we're excited. Right. We were outnumbered by the boys before, but now... But that's about to change. Exactly. How long has the shop been open? It's, it's new, right? Five months. That's right. Five months, and I heard you guys are crushing it here, right? We've been really lucky to be supported by the community. Totally fortunate, yeah. Where is all of this fabulous meat and everything coming from, right? I mean, that's what this is all about, exactly. really, right? It's um, all coming from within 150 miles of Los Angeles. So it's close. From really small family farms that sure. exclusively sell to us. Sure. So we only support local California agriculture. Which is great for their business, and we know that it's not sitting on a truck for eight days exactly. you Absolutely. Know, and to get here. And we're also helping our local economy, you know? Like, sure. that's a big thing for us. I mean, our community, our economy, you know? Like, California's been struggling for a minute, sure. and we're really happy to help out with that. So we're going to walk you through how to break down a pig. First right. step is going to be with your hands. Okay. And you're going to rip this leaf lard off of the pig. Leaf lard. Leaf lard. Exactly. It's actually like a very delicate fat that sits in the inside of the stomach that really kind of cushions a lot of the organs. And okay. And it's wonderful for baking. Uh, there you oh, go. that was easy. Okay, there comes a sharp knife. There's this way of holding it, and then there's this ah, way of holding okay. it. When you're holding it like this, you get a lot of control and a lot of force, but you are cutting towards yourself. Yeah, which force. freaks me out a little bit, but I got the armor yeah, on. Yeah, I want to have a nice, what we call, pistol grip. Pistol grip. It's holding it like a gun, right? Okay. You're going to kind of grab yeah. onto this and pull okay. this while we cut right down there. And we're going to just release the belly okay. from the leg. It's always good to release the belly from the leg. Pull this out as Pull this out. Am I yeah. cutting this way? You're cutting down. Down the, more yeah, this yeah, way. Yeah. And pull. Yeah. Keep going. You see how you're on a seam? Yeah. Is that, is that bad? That's perfect. So let's put the knife down for a second. Let's put right? the knife down. Let's grab the saw because that's your next Yes. Rest. Let's so grab the saw. Go for it. Nice. Long, long, long strokes. Oh, yeah. There you go. Oh, keep going. A little bit. Yep, that's it. Okay. Yeah, I felt it. It snapped kind of through. Here is your ham. Yeah. Here's your loin. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All the way up here. Here are your pork chops. Yeah. Your ribs. There's your chops. Your ribs. Bacon. There's your bacon. So. Here comes the knife again. Here you go. Okay. What you're gonna do is you're gonna cut exactly right, right straight down where you cut, but you're gonna kind of jig over to the side. Oh, and get that off. Yep. Right. Oh, something snapped. You're okay. It's a sharp knife. Almost. There you go. Clean that off. This is something new. <laughs> High five. Come on. Right on. Woohoo! Am I chopping this hoof off here? I, I'm cutting through, but isn't this a bone? Um, there is a bone, but there's a joint. So oh, hang on. You've done this before. Doing. I'm going to let you sure. watch this one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little outline. See oh, I, I, oh, I see. You see where the... So now you're going to jig around it and push down. Oh, yeah. there we go. And then so push, push down. Push down. As you're cutting. Yep. yep. And then I'm going to go through something here. Keep going. Yeah, yeah. It's a little tough. Push down. Yeah. There you go. Almost. Almost. I can do it. Oh, very good. You're a natural. That's right, baby. Woo! <laughs> High five. Wait. High five. There you go. <laughs> Big difference with the long strokes. It's true. You get so much in the mileage. Oh, yeah. When you get, oh, it just cracked. Now you're going to give me the saw back. Okay. Pick up your knife. Pick up my knife. Follow through with your knife, just like you did last time. Okay. Get through that skin. Yep. Get it? Oh, it looks like there's a little bone there. A little bit of bone. Okay, you just go around it. You got it, dude. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Perfect. Look at that. Holla. Hey, I'm really proud of you. I'm proud of myself, too. Awesome. Okay. We're going to make an incision between the fifth and, and the sixth. Okay. Yeah, so right about there, right? Right about in here. So okay. Boom. Okay. So now we're going to bring this up. And actually, I've made contact with the table. Yeah. And this is part of the keel bone. It's a breast bone. And it's actually really soft right here because of the cartilage. So okay. you're going to come through, right, pistol grip. Yep. And you're going to, like, kind of, I mean, you don't know. Yeah, that's going to freak me out, but OK. And you should be able to get through fairly easily. Oh, that was like a piece of cake. Like cake, yeah, exactly. Yeah, cake, but it's a pig. It looks... And we go. just keep going. Or, I think oh, we're done. there. You're, done. You're through. Almost. You're through. All right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Look, that's like Crocodile Dundee. All of a sudden, she's like, that's not a knife. This is a knife. 
So I like to do this because there's, it's kind of like a long, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, long cut. So, and just for nice, clean. I almost got it, finish. but right. should have came right off, right? Boom. Yeah, wow. So out. what is this uh, section now of the? The whole shoulder. That's here. the whole that's shoulder. The Boston right. So butt that's. And the picnic ham. The there picnic exactly. ham and the Boston butt. And here's a pork chop. You can see that pork chop, right? Yeah, right yeah, here, yeah. Over here, right? Wow. Check it out, pork chop. Oh, yeah, okay. huge pork chop. Here are the ribs. Here's the bacon right there. There That's is the, the bacon. Everybody loves that bacon. Now, since we're doing this big pig here, about how many of these would you go through a week we at this shop? two to three pigs per week at the shop. And this is this big boy is a couple hundred pounds or bigger. Um, they can be. Hanging weight was about like 180 pounds or something. Okay. That means that before yeah. slaughter, yeah. probably like 220-ish. Big boy. Yeah. Okay. Let's get that soft. Gravity is like your best friend. It is your best friend. Butchering because it really gives you stability more than you would think. So, trying to go nice and easy. Yep. Nice and straight. Here at Lindy <laughs> Ready, we take our bellies and we cure them and okay. smoke them and make bacon. Um, Sounds good to we, me. We can never sell out of bacon. The moms in the neighborhood would be yeah, really mad. Right. So we that's what we do with this. Um, if you want to make some great pulled pork, I would use sho uh, pork shoulder. Yep. We take the ham, we brine that. People love uh, brined smoked ham. Nothing gets wasted here at all, no, right? That's for sure. No, we take our hawks and our trotters and we brine those. Yeah. We smoke them, we pull them, and we make split pea soup or a smoky tomato bisque. Yeah. Um, and then we take the loin section right here. We take these pork chops and sure. sell them as chops. So these are the ribs, I guess? What are we taking? Yeah, spare out? Yeah. ribs. Spare yeah. ribs. Boom. There you go. I mean, Ripped you could just marinate those, just drop them right on the grill, right? Give them a, nice. give them a braise and throw them on the grill. Look at those that. Meaty ribs right here. So gorgeous. Beautiful. Look at that. And there's your belly. Exactly. There is your bacon. belly. This wow. This is going to go into the uh, cure, and then we're going to smoke And we'll just it. smoke that and That's turn right. that into bacon. We do a really great steak called uh, the sirloin steak here. I, okay. I think it's even better than a pork chop. It has a beautiful fat cap on it, and it's incredible. Oh, it's Who doesn't so love good. a good fat cap? <laughs> it's always nice right. to dislocate the joints and shove a knife in there and yeah. carve there that out. So. Boom. Boom. And there you have it. Wow. This is, it. this is it. This is it. All right. I did it. Lindy, Grundy. You're a butcher. I am a butcher. That's I'm right. Billy Harris. They've been hanging with Harris. Did you have a good time? We had a great time. Let's do it All again. All right. We are going to do it again. We're in Los yeah. Angeles. Come to Lindy Grundy on Fairfax. They'll take good care of you, and we'll see you real soon. Thanks. Thanks. So Thanks. You got it. Bye, ladies. That's right, baby. Woo!